All right, so only me. I've come on this morning, I'm going to do one half the album of the day of the day. We're going to do one half of Alice Cooper's first The Faction album from 1980 and do the song We're All Clones, um, which is uh, one, one of the good songs. Well, one of the songs that lives on for the album, actually, if Alice Cooper plays any songs after this album, it's usually this one or the song Pain. But um, good album, but not really representative at all of what Alice Cooper is or what he'll be remembered for, but you're just kind of stretching out on this album. Song in the key of G. Uh, it starts off with us, do 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 do, can I say, a, a, wee, a wee kind of keyboard there. And what you're playing here on the bass is pretty staccato stuff. Uh, it starts off with a kind of computer drum beat. And a wee keyboard riff that goes do 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 and then all your doing is coming out going do 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 and then what you're doing is for the verse you're doing the G the the C and the E for the pattern here do 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 and then up the C. Doctor, oh, you can. And then it goes to CD. It's just, and then, uh, there isn't much in it, that's one at all. Oh, it's a wee middle section, but it goes to up to E. It's a, See this one, nice wee easy one for a Wednesday. <clears throat> so I might as well just get torn into this anew and get it uh, get it played. This is Alice Cooper from 1980, Flush the Fashion with the uh, who played the bass on this? I think it was Cooker John Lepresti, if I remember rightly. I think Eric Scott was the next album, Special Forces. But anyway. Here we go, this is We're All Clones. I'll probably get muted for this one because I'm going to, not going to be playing out of Dabby it much.
how you play the Alice Cooper song, We're All Clones. After Flush the Fashion, can Flush the Fashion. De decent enough album, but you get four albums in there, like Flush the Fashion, Special Forces, uh, Zipper Catches Skin, and Dada, which are like kind of the, the wilderness Alice Cooper, really, really good albums. Although I can't remember bugger all about making them, but uh, there's some cracking stuff in there, but uh, nothing like the Alice Cooper of the 70s. But then when you go to 1980, if you were thinking about how music just was keeping, kind of, it's not like new where everybody wants retro, everyone was like moving forward, so I'm pretty sure like folk like Alice Cooper, John Anderson, were probably thinking in 1980, 70s rock music's by, and he's going to care about that anyway, we need to move on. Start using these new uh, kind of technology synthesizers sounds to make new music that appeals to folk. And Alice Cooper made a pretty good job with it, kind of. It wasn't any rubbish. When you think back to when the grunge thing happened, and all these bands started trying to adapt and try to make their own grunge rock, it was all pretty crap. Whereas Alice Cooper kind of managed to assimilate into new wave style music pretty good right i'm out of here man have a nice day and keep listening to alice cooper